Hello guys and welcome to this new Tableau tutorial. In this video, we are going to see how to create radial bar chart in Tableau. Radial bar charts can be used where bar charts are used. They just have the bars in the form of arcs. And in order to create our bar charts, we are going to use a subset from the Netflix data set where we have the top six Netflix ratings. Here we have the six different ratings. The second column represents the total. The first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to click on the down icon in here, click on open, and we are going to create a join with our second file. The second file contains two values. The first value is zero and the second one is 270, which represents three quadrants of a circle. So the biggest arc will start from zero until 270. And we are going to use that in order to create our bins, or we can also call it our path. So to create our join and create new column which will give us for each row one value for zero and one value for 270 we're going to create join calculation write one apply okay same thing in the second one create join calculation write one apply okay and as you can see here for each rating we have one value is 270 and the other one is zero and in order to create our path or our bins, we click on sheet one, we go to the value, we click in here, create bins. So it starts from zero to 270 size of bins one, and we name it path. Okay. Next, we are going to create another calculated field and we name it my index. By default, the index function in Tableau starts from 1 and we want our path to start from 0 to 270. So create a new calculated field and we name it by index, which is equal to index minus 1. Apply. OK. Next, we are going to create another calculated field and we name it my total, which is equal to window max max of our total apply okay and since we have six different values or six different ratings we are going to rank our ratings so we start from one until six and to do that create another calculated field we name it my rank and it is equal to rank unique of my total and it will be in the ascending order so from one to six, apply, okay. And since we want to create arcs, we are going to use Cartesian coordinates. So we are going to create two different calculated fields, X and Y. And in order to create our X and Y, we are going to use cosine and sine functions. For the first one, so create calculated field, we name it X, and it is the cosine of my index in radians right multiplied by my rank we copy that apply okay create calculated field we name it y and it will be the sign apply okay but now if we drag and drop x and y to the rows and the columns respectively Writing into color and path into detail. I'm going to edit table calculations. So for my index, we said that it will be along the path. For my rank, it will be for each rating. And for my total, same thing along the path. We do the same thing for Y. My index along the path, my rank for each rating, and my total along the path. Now, if we change automatic into line and path into path, okay, as you can see here, all the arcs have the same degree, so all of them start from 0 to 270. In order to create our final radial bar chart, we need to multiply each one of this total by its percentage. 
So I'm going to select the maximum value along the six values. And we are going to divide the total of each rating by the maximum. So to do that, we are going to duplicate my total. And I'm going to rename it. So it will be my total max. So the maximum value along the six values. And create another calculated field. We name it percentage. Which will be equal to my total divided by my total max. As you can see here, we have exactly the same formula for my total max and my total, but my total, we are going to select that for each cell, which means that it will select for us the value of each rating. Whereas my total max, we are going to select the maximum value among the six values. And in order to get that in our chart, we are going to edit X. So we multiply by the percentage. Apply. OK. And we do the same thing for the Y. Edit. Multiply by the percentage. Apply. OK. So we have set for my total max, it will be among the list. Same thing for X. So it will be along the list. And like that, we get our arcs. So now we are going to edit that. So for the colors, we are going to select red and press control key we select all the ratings put them in red apply okay right click format so remove grid lines zero lines axis rulers and we hide the headers same thing for the shading we are going to select black and for the size we select the maximum we can also add so press control key add the rating into the label and same thing, total into the label. Click on label, line ends. We don't want to select at the end. And we are going to put it bold, white, in 10. And we select it like that. Apply OK. Same thing for the title. We put Netflix ratings in the center, bold 20 white, and for the N, we put it 28 in red. Apply. Okay, so we'll just select it like this. We want it in the center. apply ok so like that we get our final radial bar chart so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have learned new things thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial